The second place winning team was Trevon Brown, Claudina Davis, and Kendira Moss. Their menu was a combination of grilled cow, a grilled shrimp, some rice below. <laughs> And some Kool-Aid with some fruit cocktail in it. Yeah. The winning team in first place. Deborah Thompson, Marina Davis, and Ashley Lockhart. Their menu over open fire was crab and rice. Without the crab fat. Julian King, Janelle Spratt, sign out of attention. Thank you. You get it right along. Our most improved people. I'm Miss Miss Sweden. I'm to the front. Miss Davis. How are you? Yeah. I just like sweet Davis. <laughs> Our most improved people, Mr. Janelle Spratt. Our most improved Cub Scout, Tanito Lockhart. Our most improved scout for the year, Deborah Thompson. Miss Jessica Anna and Mr. Raymond Anna come to the front. In third place, uh, whenever you want, whenever things get a little tight and you need some fish, some cow, some crawfish, some barry, some shark, some this, anything out the sea, call these fellas. Third place, Rakeem Wright. He can go down, but he ain't getting down for too long. <laughs> Hold on, hold on, let me get you, let me get you, let me get you. Second place, Miller Joseph. He put on a little weight so he could go down, he could breathe. He come up with something, but it mightn't be as much. Sorry, Miller, sorry, Miller, sorry, Miller. <laughs> the last Mr. Ruben Ramey to present our first place winner, the Crocodile Dundee, Dentry Mortimer.
All right, folks, now to the nitty gritty. And the big time. The big time. Before we get to the big time, the scouts, the scouts had a, a vote. They took an interactive vote to vote on the person if they were to be stranded on a desert island with no food, water. The person who would they think would provide them with shelter, food, safety, and security. This person has won the Scout Tail of the Year Award. The winner of that was Valentino Ferguson. They, 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 they trust him, dude. Yeah. That's sleeping one eye open. Let's go, so they don't care you do that swamp again, eh? All right, down to the nitty gritty, the big, the big honcho. The beaver of the year, beaver of the year. She can need a little trolley to carry all this stuff. Raya Hanna. The Cub Scout of the Year. You know, ask Mr. Jason Davis to come. The Cub Scout of the Year is Rian Hanna. Then you all got to make some space on the mantle for this trophy. And now, and now, the winner, the winner, the winner of the Scout of the Year. This person is the winner of the overall Scout of the Year. It is no other than Indira Moss. Along with the trophy, she'll also be presented with a cellular phone. And now the venture scout of the year. Sorry, uh, Rian, come for your cell phone. Do you any extra minutes? Top me up. Top me up. And now the winner of the venture scout of the year. I shouldn't even have to call the name, you all know who it is. Crocodile Dundee. Rolling up that certificate, Jeff. Yeah? Thank you. To make some presentation to some parents. Hey, Cubs, Cubs, Cubs. He said, True potential. You all still playing. What's going on? The Vanya, you all still in the front. There'll be any to turn around. Silence. Thank you. There you go, boss. Respect, respect. Mr. Alex Gibson, Chief Scout. Mr. Carlo Russell, Chief Scout Leader. Other leaders. The Scouts, Cubs, Beavers, Ventures. 
parents, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good afternoon. Good afternoon. It's a pleasure for me as the committee uh, member for the Parents Association to make just a couple uh, presentations. When we started out this committee last year, we decided that we wanted parents to become more involved by attending church services and offering any support they can. And what we identify, we said that any parent, the parents attending the meetings and coming out to church services, we would ask the group leaders to award additional points to the group members so that they can benefit and help you know, get the awards that they were awarded today. But I wanted to take this time to recognize two parents because what they did amidst all of the activities having to prepare their children, send them out to these meetings every Tuesday, attend church services, come and support the various functions, I thought it was most worthy and I took it, wanted to give them something from me personally and I'm going to ask the leaders if they can also offer a discount on the Marcel uh, trip next year for the benefit of the children. But I wanted to give the parents personally just a small token of my appreciation. And so without further ado, I want to call Miss Marilyn Ferguson. And as she comes, this reads. That's it. Hold the baby. She, she, you can get a reward, right? Hold the baby. It reads, 12 Bahamas Child Group, Parents Association Committee, Certificate of Appreciation. This certificate is awarded to Marilyn Ferguson in recognition of your dedication and support of your children's involvement in the 12 Bahamas Child Group, Parents Association Committee, PAC Award, July 13, 2000, July 13, 2014. Next, I want to call Miss Kimberly Wallace. Is she here? Oh, sorry. And this plaque reads the same thing uh, in recognition of your support and dedication of your children's involvement in the 12th Bahamas Scout Group Parents Association Committee PAC Award. I want to present you with this plaque and also a personal gift from me. And now just two, just two more words. I want to say a, a special thank you to two of the committee members for their support of me during this uh, year. And I would like to call Ms. Lynette Road. Lynette! Oh, real name is Yvonne. I call Miss Helen Davis. <laughs> Helen, we want to say a special thank you. A special thank you for your contribution toward the 12 Bahamas Scout Group. For all the cakes and the pies and the stuff that you make. Every time they call on you, we want to thank you for allowing your husband, Mr. Claude Dino Davis, to be a part of this for all the years he uh, was a part of it. We thank you for his contribution and for you allowing him to do what he did. We appreciate you. 
want us to, uh, to say thank you, to recognize you, and to let you know that personally you always have my support. So thank you for everything. Yeah. Bravo. Right in the front of my camera, eh? Sorry. Mr. Dela, uh, could you stay there for a moment, please? We have a plaque for you. On this plaque reads, Certificate of Appreciation presented to Mr. Ricardo Taylor, President of the Parents Committee. Thank you for your outstanding commitment and dedicated service. We appreciate you. Thank you. Bravo. Another certificate of appreciation. Uh, Cubs and Scouts, as you all know, most of the time when we go on the Easter camp, we have people that normally sponsor or give us a monetary gift that helps some people to pay for their Easter camp. And we want to say a special thank you to some of them. Mr. Marcus Spare, he isn't here, but Ms. Katrina Rule is going to accept on his behalf. Mr. Spare paid for five people, wow. for five people to attend the Easter camp this year. And another gentleman, he's right here in the crowd, very quiet fellow, Mr. Lawrence Monka. He's my co-worker. Mr. Monka has been sponsoring us for the last two years. In the last two years, he has helped six people to attend the Easter camp. Daddy Mops. <laughs> We'd like to call on Miss Rachel Wright, our secretary. We have to say thank you to her because if we have an event on Sunday, we can probably call her on Monday to print for 200 tickets for Tuesday and to print about a hundred and something letters, but I see him Tuesday. I think she stepped in the back and she's still busy working, but the plaque reads, an appreciation for your dedicated service as being our secretary for the last umpteen years. <laughs> Miss Rachelle Wright. We ask uh, Christina. Stina. Hey, Stina. Miss Moss, I'm glad this for your daughter, please. <laughs> and thank you to you for letting us, you warm us, your tables, your chairs, your this, your that, yeah. your yard, the, yard. <laughs> the noise. <laughs> Thanks for everything, too. Operation. <laughs> and now we have another special plaque to present. I think all the scouts will agree with this. Yes. This man, this man commits his time to come and help teach us, teach you all some basic survival skills that we may not have the time to teach. He helped you with fishing, sparing, shooting. This man also travels with us on our Easter camp every year. Spends about 10 days with us, give or take. We ain't gonna talk that a little secret. <laughs> but he is a true survivalist. And if you scouts would learn from him and continue to listen to what he taught you, then you could be a better or good person just like him. Uh, Mr. Ruben Raman, come forward, please. Crocodile Dundee Senior. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
And last award. We like to call on Mrs. Helen Davis to come forward. Uh, you don't need to elaborate too much on the situation, as we all know the situation. We all know the understanding and the meaning of what has happened. And this is a plaque from the 12 Bahamas Coach Group to say thank you personally to you, your family, for allowing your husband to be a part of our group. Words cannot express what we would like to say, but I think you know the true meaning of all of our hearts. So, accept this plaque on our behalf, and it reads, the Claudino Davis Memorial Award presented to Mistress Helen Davis. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your outstanding commitment and dedicated service.
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mr. Gibson. Mr. Gibson. <laughs> oh, you like your bravo. We can say it a little louder for you. Come this way. <laughs> Attention. Attention. Give me a B. B. Give me a O. O. Give me A. A. Give me a B. B. Give me a O. O. What that spell? Bravo. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> My scout, to my leaders, my cops, my beam, my beavers, members, parents, my distinguished guests. Good afternoon. Since we commence so of the, the since the commencement of this year, we as we as family have experienced great but un, unhappy times. One of the highlights of this moment is when we engage a parent villain of the movement of our parent committee and from better to best but the best is still, still to come another highlight we embark on is our south south our christmas party where we had we had fun during our christmas party did you did, did, did we have a good time cups and scouts yes we did did we have a good time cups and scouts yes we did parents we did have a good time on the, summer, on the summer note, we experienced the angel of death, whereas we lost our, one of our leaders, our parent, what have a moment, a, a slight moment of silent place. Thank you. Mr. Clotino Davis, the Shanique, Shanique Sands was taken from us, along with a few other. And a few others in our area. Say, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna come, it's gonna come. Whereas the po the poisons who actually was responsible for that, they're gonna get, they're gonna, have, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna get prosecuted. So they have their day. They have our day. They have our day. We they have theirs. To my leaders. My, to my scouts, to my cubs, to my beavers. My cubs, especially my beavers, my, my, my beavers and my scouts and cubs. I love these badges. Put these badges on your shirt. Wear them with pride. I don't want to see no pins in these badges, parents. Because they like to take badges back. Love to take badges back. Wear them badges with pride. I'll work hard for them. Thank you very much for coming out this evening. Thank you very much for supporting our scout group. God bless us all. Thank you very much. Just before Miller dismiss us, we have one or two more announcements. Uh, next week, Sunday.